What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Where did these guys come from? What the heck? Wait, he's still alive? Oh, whoa, 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 their heads are alive. Their heads are alive, hold on. What are you doing, little buddy? What are you, you trying to get your, your body up? Kill him, kill him. No, no, he's back. No, how do you stop this? This madness, all right, there we've got it. Nice job, we took them both out. Holy cow, so we got fangs. What's this? A bokoblin arm, a skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross, strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. Okay. Ooh, a traveler's sword. So we got a new sword from that as well. That's interesting. Nice, that's kind of cool. All right. So now it's time for us to get out of here. How do we, I don't think we can even, oh. Shields, nice. Can't carry any more melee weapons. The one thing I want to know, what are these numbers? Is that the amount of damage that it does? The threes there, or like here, there's a 10, a five, a five, a five. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't know what those do. Obviously that's not gonna work, okay. We need, I don't think we're gonna be able to find a way out of here, to be honest. I think we're gonna have to fast travel out of here. Oh, we can, we can climb that. Damn, that's crazy. You can climb pretty much everything in this game. Oh! Woo! Okay, we're good. So, oh gosh, more of these guys? Are you serious? And we've got bats after us? They're catching up to us here. We're gonna keep running. We're just gonna keep running. Keep running, running, and running, running. Don't want to go that way, but I think we're good. Uh, anyway, in our last episode, we closed up two different ruins, completed them. It was awesome. Um, let's go ahead and go to this pin next. So we're going to change. Oh, no, that's the, the stamp works for me. So we want to go to the pink thing on our map. That's our next objective. I know that's our next closest ruin. And then from there, I'm not sure where the final one is. The red one we have marked is really far away. I don't know if it's the one we want in this area. So we'll see what happens. But for now, we're gonna head to the pink one. So we've got a couple of book blends down there. So we're just gonna mind our own business. And go find our next shrine. I was calling them ruins, but they're actually called shrines. See, that's the one right... Oh, this, this pink one's what we... Okay, no, we're good. This pink one's the one we're going to. The question is, how the heck are we going to get up there? Looks like it'd be better to go up this way and come back around. So we're gonna go through the Temple of Time here. This, we actually, we found a, a cool sword, the soldiers. So we're going through the Temple of Time here. We actually found a really cool soldier's bow up on top of that thing in our first episode. Still have it, it's our best weapon. And we're gonna see what our best option for coming up here is. Is all this stuff cli- I think it might be, and that's pretty cool if it is. I think it's all climbable. Temperature's getting dangerously low. Find warmth sooner or take damage. Oh, shoot. So we can't do that. We can't get up there unless we have, I know it said that campfires will help or you can have torches. Is there a way we could set like one of these, one of these sticks on fire or something? Hmm. Either that, uh oh, spicy pepper exploding with spice. There's a ton right here. 
We've got this guy around this corner. Oh! He just got us there. Kill him with the tree branch. It's getting cold again. Okay. So, we need to eat some stuff here. Materials. We have a bunch of peppers. So we'll eat all our hot peppers. So we're pretty much, we're, we're pretty good on health here. Now our question is, where the heck are we gonna go next? All right, so we're back on the right track here. So those spicy peppers we picked up, you guys can see, it says cook with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. And uh, that means we need to learn how to cook. And I believe that this man over here is gonna be able to help us with that. So let's see. Could you not see I was sleeping? Yes, I could. But I need something from you. So if I can't hunt, what else is there to do but sleep? Sitting by a warm campfire is the best way to pass the time. Say courageous when are you hungry? If so, please feel free to use my cooking pot to whip up a snack. If you need to start a fire, just light your torch or the campfire over there. I need some tips. Simply open your inventory, grab a hold of your ingredients, and toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. Play your cards right, you may even end up with a dish that can help protect you from extreme cold. It's all about being creative and trying different things. All right. Found a torch! This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. That's pretty cool. Can't carry any more melee weapons. So we're gonna have to get rid of something here then. Um, where do we go here? Weapons, is it just in here? Um, I'm gonna say, what do we get rid of here? Probably, probably the tree branches. So we're gonna go ahead and drop both of those. We'll pick up the torch. Another torch over here, just in case our first one ever burns out. We got some shrooms, some more arrows. Okay, so. Our torch is lit. Now, how do we cook? Hmm, we don't have any meats. I did see, I think there were some hogs over here. Let's go see if we can find some hogs. Maybe we can make like a spicy meat or something. Acorns. Aha. Okay, we don't, we don't want this. We want, um, we'll take our traveler's sword. Okay, so that's not gonna work, but our bow might. He straight up fully ran away from us. He's still going. Got him! Let's go, boys! All right. Woo! Found another one. Where'd he go? He's right here. Okay, so we're gonna take this raw meat. Meat obtained from animals in plains and forests. Can eat it raw, but cooking will make it more delicious and nutritious. Okay, so we're gonna try making some sort of a spicy meat. I think that might taste pretty good. And hopefully it's gonna be enough to give us some some ability to withstand cold. So if we come up to this thing, I'm not even trying to put stuff in the pot. I'm gonna assume that we use this. So we're holding it. Oh look, there's a bird here as well, guys. All right, so we'll take him out. Got him. He dropped a, uh, a raw bird drumstick for us. That's pretty cool. Nice. Is there anything else up there? He kind of landed on top of it. Nope. That's it. All right. So, anyway, I think I got this figured out. I, uh, I, I did some research. I, I kind of looked it up, but that's all right. So, we're going to take our torch. We're going to set this on fire. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take a piece of meat. We're going to hold that along with a pepper. And we're going to cook it. So hopefully this is gonna give us some cold resistance here. <laughs> Spicy pepper steak grants low level cold resistance. The meat's been cooked in crushed peppers to extend its natural taste. So it's gonna give us three hearts along with three minutes of cold resistance. So what happens if we take that drumstick that we got and put it with a pepper and cook that? This is kinda cool, man. I didn't know you cooked stuff. 
It's pretty interesting. All right, what do we get here? Same thing. Okay. So, we've got spicy pepper steak. Also, what we could do is take this out and set it on fire. And I do believe this is going to give us somewhat cold resistance just by itself, as long as we don't put it away. So, we're going to run all the way back to where we started. And hopefully, we're going to be in good shape. Oh, we got a guy after us. I'll set you on fire, playboy. He's down. Nice. This is a, a pretty formidable weapon then, huh? Oh, wow. We're, we're setting the grass on fire, too. Okay, anyway. We're heading back up north. Whoa, what? What is that thing? Red choo-choo jelly. A jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo-choo. It constantly gives off heat. If struck, it will explode into a ball of flame. So can we carry that with us, maybe? I don't know. If we do anything wrong, like climb something or whatever, we actually lose our flame on this thing. So we've got to be careful. We don't need any more of that stuff. We want to head up north up here. We don't want to deal with any more of these guys, man. We're going to lose our torch and everything we've worked for. To keep this thing lit is just not going to work anymore. We need a way to be able to light torches on the go. I wonder if that's a thing. Please, no guys around here. Otherwise, our torch is going bye-bye. Up there is where we're going, right? I'm pretty sure it is. And search this thing. Ancient gears. Good stuff. Okay. So, we're going up into the cold. I'm trying to conserve our spicy meats as much as possible. That's why I'm not just immediately using this thing. But, um... Who knows if this is even going to work. So, right now, if you guys see, our Fahrenheit meter is way over towards the orange. I think once we get in here... It's going to even out a bit more. Oh no, we're still good. We're good. Okay. Alright. So we're going to set this on fire. What are we working with here? Found wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Nice. More wood. A Korok leaf. Oh, gosh. Okay, we just burned that entire thing. How are we supposed to get across this water right here to that boat? This is where we're supposed to be going, right? I'm assuming this is what we want. We've got to somehow get across this river without freezing our buns off. I'm not seeing anything. I was hoping to find something that we could like use our magnesis or whatever, but I'm not seeing that we have that. So I guess we'll head up this way and see if there's anything this way. There's not really a whole lot of, like, direction so far, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's very kind of figure it out on your own. Figure out how to resist cold. Figure out how to do pretty much everything else. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save right here. Because I don't know if we're about to make a bad decision. We may be about to make a bad decision. Get up there, baby. Oh, yeah. They've got fire. We need warmth. And we also need something to take these guys on with. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead yet. Now he is. Stay near the fire, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Nice. Okay. So we got a Boko Club. I'm pretty sure we can set... Oops. Oh, we could have used those right there. 
I always press the wrong thing. We, I think we can set Boko Clubs on fire. I guess the question is how long do they last? Got a horn. Shield. Arrow. Okay. I guess we continue on our way here. Just gonna continue on this path. Ooh, we've got more baddies up here. Just gonna leave them be. Not gonna do anything too drastic because we're gonna have to run back and set our thing back on fire if we do do something. Okay, so where? I mean, we're getting close. We actually might be able to reach this thing from the direction that we're going. Except it's back behind us. Oh no. Are you serious? Okay, yeah. Boko clubs are not meant for carrying fire. All right, guys, so it looks like this is it right here. We just have to find a way to safely descend to it. How on earth are we gonna do that? It looks like, hmm, we could try crawling down. Climbing down. It looks like that's gonna be our best bet. Let's, let's give it a shot. Nice, and we're at good temperature here. Okay, we made it. Woo, we found ourselves another shrine. Holy cow, I didn't think it was ever gonna happen. Hurry up and get in there. Oh my goodness, okay, the Owadine Shrine. Let's see what we've got going on here. Go ahead and head inside. And here we go, guys, so we've done this before. This is gonna be our third one. Three out of four are gonna be down. Once we complete this, which is uh, kind of exciting. Ooh, bedtime. Sleeping in a bed allows you to sleep until morning, noon, or night. And it replenishes hearts. I was wondering about that because it seems like there are a lot more enemies out at night than there are during the daytime. So we might have to start using that. But uh, here we are, guys. New shrine and likely a new power. I'm Oadaim, name of the goddess Helia. I offer this trial. The Oadaim Shrine. Let's go ahead and extract the information out of this thing into our little Sheikah Slate. Let's see what we can find. Alright, there it is. What do we have here? Stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. Style objects in time while stopping or while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Okay. So this is going to be interesting here. So we can stop things. Like I'm assuming we can stop this thing here. Okay. So if we have our stasis equipped, we can stop time just like that. All right. Here we go. That's pretty cool. So it, it stores up energy, right? Is that gonna go super fast now? No, that's weird, okay. I'm weird. I was gonna like spin really fast or something because it hadn't been moving in a while. But I'm not sure. We've got an Indiana Jones rock here. Woo! Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. All right, so we wanna, as soon as this gets by us, Go ahead and stop time. It didn't seem to work. Oh, we can't get around it now. Okay, you gotta be looking at it. You have to physically be looking at the object. It's not like it stops everything in the area. I've got gotcha. you. All right. So we're gonna wait for this again. We're gonna let it, let it regen and we're gonna stop it when it's past this point. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Okay. So you have to have it in this little, this little plus sign. 
There we go. All right. Found ourselves a nice little chest here. That's pretty cool. Traveler's shield. It's a little bit better than what we're currently working with. Hmm. I don't even think we need to use it on the way back. And just follow that thing down. All right. Whoa, what is this thing? An iron sledgehammer. This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon, too. Okay. And we have this ball in front of us. Can we use that sledgehammer? No. Nope. We're going to have to do something with our... Oh! We've got to use our ability here, so watch this. We'll stop time. And then we'll... Wait, which one's Y? Y is here. Whoa! Okay. That's what it was talking about. So if it's a stationary object and you do things to it, it's going to affect it after the time is up. All right. There we have it, guys. Completed yet another shrine. That's three out of four down. We've got one more to go before we can move on to our second area. Sourcefulness and overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Every single one of them is always the same, but uh, we'll take it. Go ahead and shoot that, uh, that little thing my way. Hit me in the chest. And that's going to be number three. All right. That's pretty cool, guys. So we have the ability to use magnets, we have the ability to stop time, we have the ability to throw bombs, both square and circular. What's our fourth and final ability going to be? I don't know, but we're going to look in, in search of that shrine right now. Well, would you look at that, guys? We have a brand new shrine that we hadn't detected before, and it's actually in our area, which is awesome. So uh, let's, uh, let's go take this thing on. And this is going to be our final shrine for the old man. For right now, we do have some bad guys here to deal with, though. So let's see. Can we get up here? And take these guys out? How can we get to them? They have, like, a, a little tree house here we can't even get up into. Ooh, Stamella Shroom. Green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest is chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, another torch. Oh, we can't carry anymore. Our one torch is about to die, so I think we could probably just get rid of that and then pick up the, the fresh one. Got a bunch of more spicy peppers. So these guys see us, but we don't... How do we get up there and take them? Oh, I have... Hmm. I've got an idea. What if we took our axe? Can we chop this down? No. Okay, that was my first idea. My second idea is what if we took this bomb? And detonate it. That's not working either. I want to get up there. Oh, oh. That's their little, that's their little bridge. We're getting rocks thrown at us right now. How do we get their bridge down? Can we shoot it maybe? Aha! Okay. You know what? Before we do this, let's set a bomb down. Go ahead and drop it right there. We're gonna shoot their bridge down. And they should come after us. Yes, sir! What's good, boys? Alright, so... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want my regular weapons out. We're gonna take the sword. Got him. Nice. Got a couple guys left. Yep. 
Why are you blowing your horn like that, bro? Alright, he's down. This guy looks pretty intense. He's blue and he's a little bit different. Nice. So you're just gonna stand there or what? Oops. Go ahead and open this up. Got some amber. Oh! He kicked it away from himself! No way! Got him. He's still not dead yet. He's coming after us. Woo! Alright. It's time to fight. Oh! Our sword broke. We got him. Nice. Alright, boys. Good stuff. Not necessarily a boss battle, but those guys were decent. They were a little bit tougher than some of the other stuff we've... Taking on. We got a soldier's broadsword. We don't need that shield. We have plenty of shields. Okay, I'm happy with how that turned out. I don't know how useful these Bokoblin horns and stuff are, but we'll keep them for now. Pick up all these arrows. We probably could have shot arrows at these guys first, but that's all right. Anyway, here we are. Got ourselves five more arrows. So I don't even know if that was really that worth it, but it was fun nonetheless and uh, now we're gonna head this way we've got to get across this bridge and up there to the shrine that we saw so here we go oh no it got cold are we gonna lose health we're gonna lose health all right so we are gonna need in our inventory shoot how do you get there don't nope, not that food right here spicy pepper steak so we're gonna have three minutes after eating this thing. Three minutes of cold reduction. Okay. Um, so obviously we don't want to get in the waters. Those are going to be really cold. There's a log over there. Oh, this is easy. Okay, here we go. Our magnesis will activate this. Oops. Activate this. Just go ahead and... Set it there as a path to cross. Looks good to me. All right, we've got two minutes and 26 seconds left of cold resistance. I don't know the best way up this mountain, but we're going to go this way. And hope that we make it in that time. We've got a couple other spicy pepper steaks. So if we have to use them, we can, but... I'd prefer to try to save them if we could. I wonder if we can get clothes that resist cold on their own. I bet you can. We still have those plain trousers and shirt from our first episode. I don't think we're going to be able to make that. I was going to try to climb that whole way, but our, our stamina is not really that great. If we cooked something with that stamina herb, we might be able to. Could eat that halfway up, but oh shoot! I'm gonna try to avoid these guys if we can. The Ken Katnamut Shrine, whatever. I don't even know how to say it, but we got there, boys. Only used one of our uh, our little things, and we are gonna be good to go. Okay. So this is our final one, our final shrine of the first section of the game. First little region. And as soon as we complete this, the old man's gonna give us his paraglider, which is gonna be pretty cool, so. Job well done, we made it, boys. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and head inside. And the best part is, once we get out of here, we're just gonna be able to fast travel right back to a, a safe place. It's not too cold. That's pretty cool, man. We got a lot done this episode. We did two shrines, we took on some enemies. Learn how to cook, learn how to hunt. This game has a lot more to it than I was expecting. 
I've been reading some of your guys' comments and tips and stuff. You guys have said that if I see like vases and little things all around, that I definitely want to uh, break those because sometimes they have items in it. But here we go. To you, sets foot in the shrine, I am Kinemit. In the name of this goddess, something, something, something trial. Cryonis trial. All right, so we are going to be learning our next ability here. I think it's going to be our final ability of the game. We'll see what happens. Sheikah Slate's been authenticated. They're distilling the information out of the rune. And we're going to get a brand new ability. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's not our last ability. There's going to be one more after this. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Builds ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars could be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. So we can make ice pillars out of water. Let's see how this works. So we're going to go ahead and select our Cryonis. And then we're going to this. Oh, wow. I guess we'll do it close to the ledge, right? So we'll go ahead and freeze that. Oh, we can climb them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oops. Oh, we lifted the gate with it. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen if we did that to him. Nice. Go ahead and blow up. Ancient springs, we'll take those. Okay, now what's next? That's where we came in from. Ah, I see what we have to do. Gotta hit each of these and it should create a platform that we can then jump on. Okay. Where to next? This one's got a... I, I like it. I like the ability. It's cool. It, it creates new paths that weren't originally there. Nice. All right. That's it. That was an easy one. Okay. So, there you guys have it. That is the end of our first region of the game. We completed the four shrines that that old man wanted us to go through and complete. And so, now our next step is going to be to go back to the tower where he was. And let him know that we're done. Give him the treasure or whatever else. And he's going to hook us up with his paraglider. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode where we venture out into the world of Hyrule. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.